Ask them if they feel like after the incident if, if rock and roll wrestling can ever really get back together. Okay. If they don't answer it already. Okay. You ready? We are here with Captain Lou Albano and Cindy Lauper. Um, we've already talked a little bit about it, but once again, tell us in your own words about what happened at Madison Square Garden and how you feel in general about the incident. Well, I'll tell you, Alan, I, uh, I'm still a little shook up from it because uh, Dave got hurt real bad, and uh, I, feel, I feel good that I tried to do something good. I feel bad that Roddy Piper came in and destroyed it. I mean, he, he hurt Lou, hurt Captain Lou, and uh, there was no call for that, but there was really no call for hurting uh, Dave or me. Um, you know, I'm, I perform all the time. I hurt myself a lot while I'm climbing it, you know what I mean? But, but Dave, to body slam Dave, uh, was really an awful thing. And, and I mean, he's not a wrestler. You know, and, and we certainly didn't go into the ring for that reason. Went into the ring to share a little bit of my success, tried to do something good, had Dick Clark there. I was so embarrassed in front of Dick Clark. I felt so bad. I was so worried about David. I mean, to see him go down, I didn't even realize what was going on. I, I looked up, I saw David. David was down on the floor. I looked over to Lou. He was down. I didn't know what to do, so I went over to David. I helped him, but I'm telling you one thing. I took it uh, very personally. Um, I don't know exactly what will happen to Roddy, but uh, something will definitely happen to Roddy because I'll tell you, <laughs> there's a saying, it ain't the, uh, it ain't the kilt, it's the tilt of the kilt or something like that. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, Roddy, and also, excuse me, I want to interrupt. When Roddy Piper's talking about manhood, I want to tell you something right now. It's an honor and a pleasure. You've got man more manhood in your little pinky than Roddy Piper's got in that entire body. In fact, I questioned him with that little kilt on all, but let's not talk about that. For the first time in my life, in 31 years of wrestling, I was so humiliated and so hurt. Not only what Roddy Piper did to me, because this fine little 105-pound rock star, the finest entertainer in the world today, took it upon herself to present me with a platinum and a gold record. Turned around in Madison Square Garden. I was so elated, so proud, so I had the spot in my wall in my den picked where I was going to put that, Cindy. And I felt so great about that. And when that Roddy Piper, that sleazy, slimy skunk with the skirt on, who, who questions your manhood, well, I question his. You got, as I said, more men manhood in your pinky, then he'll have his entire body. When he turned around and had the audacity to bust me wide open with that trophy, and I hit the deck, I could see I was dazed, yes, I was hurt. And this little lady, this little fine rock star, 105 pounds, dove for my aid, tried to grab his foot, and he kicked her off. And then David Wolf, a friend, 140 pounds, David Wolf came to my side, and this man picked him up and slammed him and hurt the lumbards in his back. He wasn't trained. He's not trained to take falls like wrestlers are. This is David Wolf, and this is a rock star, Cindy Lauper, who could have damaged her career for life, might have hurt the lyrics, might have hurt her, her vocal box, might have ruined her, 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 her singing career, and yet this sleazy, slimy, Roddy Piper had the audacity to come in the ring and do that. Well, I'm going to tell you this, Roddy Piper, if by the last inch of my life, if by the last ounce of my blood, and by my sweat and by my strength, I'll get revenge. If it's not me, it'll be one of my men. Roddy Piper, look out! Roddy Piper, look out! Roddy Piper, Piper, look out! Oh, Roddy oh, Piper, rock and roll is here to stay! Oh, rock and roll is here to stay! Oh, we'll get together! Oh, we'll get together, rock and roll! Today, rock and roll has done more for the people of the world and more for the children and youth of America than anything else. This lady right here has donated out of her own pocket right here for MS besides raising four and a half million with me for multiple sclerosis. The Christmas song, you know, the Christmas letter, yeah, time of Christ, raise money for the starving people of Ethiopia, that's right! That's rock and roll. I believe you, Captain. I believe it. And you know, speaking of... You know, it's all... It's that... You see what Roddy does? He doesn't even have to be here when he gets him this upset. You think it's healthy for him? It's not healthy at all. Well, look... He's going to pay, Cindy. It's, it's good to see you two back together Alan, again here. Really is. Uh, Alan, I'm, I'm going to calm down. It. I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to shout. But I want to say right now, there'll always be a place... You. There'll always be a place for rock and roll in my heart and in the hearts of all the wrestling fans. Rock and roll and wrestling belong together. Okay. There are sleazy, slimy people such as the Freddie Blassies, the Paul Orndorffs, the, the, the John Studs, the Ken Patera's, and so forth. But then you've got the elite. Then you've got the Bruno San Martinos, the David San Martinos, the Hulk Hogan's. You've got the good and you've got the bad, and I believe that all the good will come to our side and be behind Cindy Lauper and myself, and, and that you. rock and roll, rock and roll is here today, and rock and roll is here to stay, and rock and roll will be here for many, many a day. Rock and roll all the way. Rock and roll USA. Rock and roll all the way, baby.
Thank so you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. All right. I feel so proud and so good and so fine. Say hallelujah. We'll get down and boogie. Let's do Bruno.